Okay, just a few helpful hints on the color palette section of your site plan. Um, it has you go to colors.co and once you go there you can click any pop-up menus. Don't sign up for anything. Um, I like to go to this explore menu option and here you'll see there's a whole bunch of already generated palettes that people have put together that look pretty nice. So I, you can go ahead and just pick one of these and say I like kind of like this one and you can click on the three little dots and open it up in the generator and it will generate your own palette for you and you can make changes here so if you like all of the colors you can kind of lock them in place with these little locks but if I maybe I didn't like the orange you can hit the space bar and go through and toggle through some other choices um, I didn't see any that I liked, so I could actually just change this to my own hexadecimal color. So maybe I'll just change that to white. So that's kind of how it works. You can unlock and relock these. If you want to go a step further, you could go, uh, there's Adobe has a good color wheel that has like the triads and the complementary colors and you can move them around and, and bring them to different places. So if you're really not sure what colors look good together, this kind of gives you an idea of you know, the science behind the color wheel and, and things like that. So that is one option. Another one that I think looks really good a lot of the time is the reason you pick your logo is probably because you really like the colors. So um, you could go into a site that's called um, Image Color Picker. And what it'll do is it'll take an image and it'll kind of pick colors out of the image and kind of set that as your palette, which is kind of cool. So I can actually click the Use Your Image button and upload that logo, or maybe it's a photo or whatever, is going to be a big part of your site. And it will actually kind of pick out those gray, green, or I'm sorry, <laughs> reds and blues and things like that. So this is another option. And what's cool is if you click each of those, you can grab those hexadecimal colors, copy them, and put them into your palette. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now that I got the ones I want, I'm gonna copy that URL, and then back in my site plan, you're going to replace the URL that's already there, and you're going to put your own URL in there, both in the href value and the content of the A tag. So that'll be what shows up when they click on it. Okay, you also need to change those colors down here. These are just text for this table data element inside the table. So this is this is just going to change the hexadecimal text that shows up there. So for example, if I wanted to make my primary color that light blue, I would want to, uh, well, I'm just changing the text. I'm not really changing any colors right now. Um, here is my dark blue. I'll put that in as the secondary. And then my accent was the yellow. And then I just had white. I could go ahead and put white in here. So you would just add another text with hashtag FFF. Um, but I'll leave it blank like they've got it here because those are my three main colors. If I take a look at my site, my site plan right now, you'll see that none of the colors really changed in the site itself. Really all we changed is this link will actually take me to that new palette. So that has changed. And just the text here has changed, not the actual colors. So we need to go into the CSS and actually change the colors there as well. So we're going to come in here and I'm going to go ahead and copy some of these while I'm here. This was the light blue and I come in here and I make sure that replaced this one. And once I save that, you'll see that that is now replacing that one. My secondary color was the dark blue, which is this hexadecimal. And I'll go ahead and pause, you know, so now you can see when I say that and saw the changes over here, it does have my new colors in there as well. Again, you'll still have to make some changes to the menu options and things like that. So you'll have to come down here and replace all of the colors that they have here 
with your colors. So, and this will just be a matter of how it looks. You'll have to check and see if the text is still readable and things like that. But then you can go through and change those colors as well um, later.